Hey there, this is uh, BMD. I'm gonna show you, I guess, the uh, what I've hacked together for this, you know, physics system in, in unit physics and Dota or whatever. Uh, it's just a little library, and it should work on any unit. But um, for here, I'm just gonna show it as, you know, this Abaddon hero unit and uh, whatever. So. What you do is you just take any unit in the game, you're going to run a little command that does it. Everything here in say command is just really simple code in the back end, or, you know, whatever. So when I do this, now it's turned it into a physics unit, and just as a kind of little tiny demonstration, it turned it into a, uh, just give a little velocity push in the x direction. Uh, but now, you know, it's effectively just kind of updated the Lua table, and now I've got a whole bunch of other commands that I can access, which I'm going to do via the uh, scripting here. So, basically, you know, what we just saw would be something like this. This is a, you know, thousand velocity uh, force push in that direction. You can, you know, get pretty big with it and everything else. You can see by default it's got some friction and it's pushing people up ramps and stuff like that. I also pretty sure, let me see this. So yeah, and it should respect the nav mesh by default. So it just bumps up against places that it can't walk normally. Um, so you can turn that off, of course. Um, and actually, I wonder if, how that will interact with flying units. Anyway, I don't care. Um, I can turn off the nav mesh interaction and then rerun the force, and it should push me right over the top of it. So, you know, by default, I still can't, I still can't go over this or whatever. But um, when it's doing the physics simulation, it sends you over that. Um, so if I uh, turn, this is a uh, lock to ground off and. Uh, I do this, it should, yeah, push me right through the ground. Now I can go in a Z direction, stuff like that. And so you, you can do, you know, all sorts of cool stuff with this. My, my intention is to kind of turn this into a unit projectile system or whatever, so I can have these crazy bouncing projectiles and random crazy shit happening. But obviously here it works just fine with units. Um, if they still control them, they do get locked to ground themselves. We'll turn that stuff back on, just make sure this is so yeah, bump it into that and and back up on the ground. All right. Now um, you can see actually that I have directional influence. So I'm just walking around, but that was a pure X direction push, and I was able to influence the direction. Oops. Um, and I can even you know help boost my way along with it, um, just fine. Uh, but we can turn that off. So if I do print di um, and basically same command. Now, oh wait, hold on, did I type that wrong? Or wait, does it just prevent? Shit, I can't remember my own commands. Let's try this again. Okay, there we go. So I, I typed it wrong. But you see now I don't have any directional influence over that while the simulation is going on. So yeah, so for player controlled stuff, if you need to force them into specific shit without them fucking around, then that'll do it for you. Um, let's turn that off. I think I did that right. Yep, now I got my directional influence back. Uh, let's see, so friction, we, it's, I think, 5%, you know, it, 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 it's, I guess, percentage based on velocity. I probably could make that a bit more configurable so that it's not like that, but I can, you know, change it and make it higher friction. And you should see I stop a bit faster, I think, there, but if I do this, this is a 50% friction, then yeah, I barely go anywhere. If I turn it way down, this is five times less, then I get a nice, you know, slow slide. Um, and of course I can just turn it off. Well, it's still going, actually. So, now I have no friction at all, um, and it's just kind of, I don't know, like a little wind effect going on. I'll put it back to 5%, and then it should, yeah, stop me. Um, let me see. What else is there? Uh, I can set a hard max on the velocity, so I just set it to 2,000. If I try and do this, that only moves at 1,000. This is good because there's also, you can add acceleration, so let's say, I don't know, I accelerate it 100. Um, per second, and so, so this, uh, you know, normally would of course be speeding me crazy, crazy up, but it locks my velocity, so none of that matters. It just uh, gets up to 500 and then stays there. Um, let's turn that to zero, which is just unlimited velocity. 
Uh, and let's see, the other thing I put in is flat sliding. So this basically allows you to, it takes into account the movements of your hero from, you know, right clicking and stuff like that in order to cause them to slide around. Um, and there's, you know, it does a little bit of weird stuff like that, but it, it works fine. Um, so this also should respect the velocity max, so if I set this to something crazy low, then now I'm barely, I mean, I still have my normal movement speed. It, it's just adding an additional sliding factor. So the sliding factor has gone down to only be able to do 100 here, which isn't much. Um, I turn that back off, we can see the slide goes back up. Um, so there's a sliding multiplier which determines how much of your movement speed you can effectively get out of sliding. Uh, let's see if I do this right. It's normally just how one percent is. It's it, it, it's really just a scalar factor. So you just you know, if I go up to ten, I think it should not work for some reason. Um, what the hell is my command called? Slide molt. Uh, fuck. What was what was I gonna do? Fifty. Try this again. All right, so this is like crazy, crazy fast and sliding stuff. And you can see it actually kind of like bounced up against that. But the nice thing about sliding is that you can actually kind of get a little orbit going. You can see where it's sliding so much that it's just spinning around in a certain location. If I get into stop here, which is a little tough with all the sliding going on, I guess I could turn it off. But if I do this, it should just kind of bounce back and forth. And so this is the kind of thing I'm probably going to use in my bullet hell shooter if I you know, actually get around to making it. But as you can see, yeah. Turn sliding on, now he's just sliding all over the fucking place. Turn sliding off, he'll keep his velocity, and then he's back to normal. Everything's good. Uh, of course, you can stop simulating physics on a unit at any time with the library, and or uh, pick it up, or what have you. Uh, it's set by default to simulate everything at 30 uh, frames per second, you know, full, full game frame tick speed on the server. Um, but yeah, I guess that's kind of where it is. Obviously, there's no collisions and shit like that put in, but those collision tech checks, I'm basically probably just going to write like a little way for you to have a callback on a frame in order to do what you want and then force people to do their own collision detection because forcing it into the basic physics package means that stuff that doesn't need to collide but just needs physics could get, you know, overwhelmed by uh, doing entity checks when it doesn't need to or even just additional shit. But I can, yeah, force a callback so that you can say, you know, on this unit... Uh, give me a call back every frame and I'm gonna do stuff like collision detection or I don't know play with the velocity yourself to get some even you know crazy I don't know sinusoidal little shit that isn't directly supported by the package as it is but yeah uh, so yeah I, it's super I mean I did this in like an hour and a half so it's there's a good chance it will explode on contact with whatever you work with but you know I'll, I'll, I'll fix it and it should be pretty simple and code and whatever so yeah should be should be good to go you'll uh have to give it a try let me know what you think but uh yeah good stuff